Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a melting basket update. So I'm kind of doing this for like the month of February. Things could change halfway through February, really hard to say. Um, but basically, this is literally only wax. I might be doing a different project for my candles. Um, so yeah, this is literally only wax. Essentially, the gist of this basket for February is I wanna get through all these products for the most part, um, before I start like really getting into the spring scents. So I'm hoping I can use February as like a last ditch effort to really work through my fall winter stash. Um, a lot of these, well, all of these, I guess, um, I don't wanna carry over into like next fall. So that's why they're in here. Um, I'm gonna walk you through these items though. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. Um, these first couple things, so like this uh, value pack in orange buttercream cupcake, this I just want to work on the top row. If these finish the top row, um, this like I don't care if I finish this. <laughs> like I can easily carry this over into whenever. Um, I just want to finish the top row because it's brand new. So that's why this is in here. And then same goes for my brick of Arctic kits. I just want to be working on these bigger items. Um, I want to at least go through the top row, which I think I can easily do like in one go around in my warmers downstairs. Um, so worst case, if I work on more of it, whatever, but I at least want to get through the top row. So there's those two. Okay, where do we go from here? <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm going to go through pretty much all the nonsense -y to start with because there's a lot of that. So um, I have this Aldi Huntington Home Cozy Harvest that has four cubes in it. I would like to finish that. And then I have a Goose Creek Snow Covered Apple. This only has one lonely cube, so that shouldn't be an issue. This is about to topple over. <laughs> okay, so then we have Goose Creek Marshmallow Red Velvet. This has four cubes, it looks like. I love this one though, so I don't think this will be an issue to go through. The only bummer is I can really only melt my Goose Creek wax in like one warmer, um, cause it struggles in my other warmers, but I actually got two new, um, a little bit higher wattage element warmers. So I might try to melt this Goose Creek wax in them to see if they do better. I don't know if I should flip these or not. Okay, then we have Sugar Donut from Goose Creek. This has three in it, I think. This is another really good one. I just like don't love these Goose Creek melts. That's why they're in this basket. Uh, brown Sugar Churros. The scents are good, but like I just don't love the texture of the wax, I guess, which is a big deal for me. Um, and then lastly, Marshmallow Snow Cream. This one's good but glad I don't have a candle in it because I could see how this one would be sour in, in case you're considering buying that candle. Um, okay. Goodness sakes, this is like a mad, a mad house melting basket, that's for sure. Okay, I have this A to Z candles, cranberry marmalade. I think I only have like four little star tarts of this um once again now that I have those higher wattage warmers I really want to see how this does so I'm probably going to put this around this is a pretty Christmassy scent but I think I can get by with um using it on pretty early on in the month um and then I won't have it anymore so that's the goal at least okay uh we have frosty winter nights I have three cubes of this Apple and incense. These are some of my more like fall Christmassy wax melts. Warm fireside flurries. I actually really love this one. It's like a sweeter version of marshmallow fireside. Um, but no reason to hold on to it. Uh, Birchwood bonfire. This is kind of like the warm fireside flurries, except for it's like more cologne. -y. Yeah, it's not like super bonfire, I guess. This is gonna start to look real weird. Um, Cotton Candy Cloud. I'm gonna give this one another go. It's so sugary. But now that we're getting towards spring, um, 
maybe it'll be decent. Okay, cinnamon buns, a really good one again, but don't wanna hold on to it. Uh, pumpkin marshmallow cream, I really like this one. And I think it'll be a good one to put in, um, kind of to mix up some of these ones down here that I'm not like overly fans of. I can switch in that one, you know, to like have a good melting day, I guess. Uh, banana pumpkin bread. I like this one. It's just pretty banana y. So I think this will also be a good one that's kind of springy because it has that banana, but it also like could be fall, I guess. So gonna go for that one. Honey crisp cider. This one's definitely fall to me, but um, I'm not like an overly seasonal melter. Like, I don't really care about seasons. This one to me kind of reminds me of spiced apple toddy, so kind of want to get that used up. Pumpkin cider, I really like this one. Warm apple pie, this is a really, just another good bakery fruity scent. And then lemon pumpkin shortbread. This is one of my favorites. I have a value pack in that, so I want to get through some of that. Okay, so then we have Scentsy. Um, these are all pretty much bedroom scents that I really just want to work through. Uh, so starting off Plum and White Woods, I only have three cubes, shouldn't be hard. Grid Iron Rush, I have six cubes of this. But I think this is nice for the bathroom. Um, and I want to get through it. I think I'm gonna like... <laughs> That's probably so not aesthetically pleasing because <laughs> it probably all shifted, but oh well. Uh, vanilla Oud. I have seven cubes of this. I'm kind of coming around to this, but I didn't put it in my club, so I just want to go through it. Um, I just want to really get out of the habit of like holding on to bars like that I feel like I like. Like I'd rather just enjoy them. So Quiet Grove. This one has a broken top. It has five cubes left really nice scent for the bedroom and then cashmere pear this has seven yeah this one's hardly used this one's like i don't like it so much but it's like really soft and nice so i think it's good in, in the bedroom bathroom like at night time okay this is the big kahuna pile over here a lot of these are used i mean i think all of these are used so I don't think it'll be too hard to get through these, but it just seems like a lot. Um, Stroop Waffle Delight. This one's in my club that's coming in February, so I wanna get through it. I love this. A lot of these that are like half used, like I said, I'll probably end up mixing somehow. So um, Autumn Road Trip. This one has, oh, <laughs> um, this one has five cubes plus these little like bits here. Um, I love this one. <sighs> I'm debating if I need to put this in my club or not. I don't know. I might put it in there just to get another bar or two because it is really nice. And it kind of is, um, like not fall specific. Like I could see melting that in the spring. So I actually might add that to my club. Oh, my club's out of control, but I might actually add that. Just two little cubes of just one bite. Um, I have a, once again, the little sliver, um, four and a half cubes of honey pear cider. And then these are getting into some of my favorite bars that I need to go through before my club processes. So apple and oats, three and a half. There's Corey yelling again. Sorry. <laughs> um, pumpkin cinnamon swirl, four cubes. Love this one. I think these will be all decent to like mix together. Cutie pie cupcake, four cubes of this again. Love this one. I think this one will go really well with this orange buttercream cupcake. So I can like put this in some of my warmers and then put that in some of my warmers and I'll do okay. Sweet plum pastry. This is my broken clam, so I kind of want to get through this, but um, I have another bar and then also the semi club coming in February, so just want to use it. I love this one. I might end up warming it here in my office just so I can like savor it and really enjoy it. 
Uh, but same with this one, it's marshmallow mint. I know Corey's not overly a fan of marshmallow minty scents, but he hated peppermint dreams. Um, this one, he didn't complain about the last time, so maybe I'll give it another test downstairs. And then lastly, I have Cozy Chai. I have four cubes of this. I'll probably end up mixing this with something as well. Um, but yeah, these last little bit, um, like all these ones over here are in my club. So I just want to go through them before my club processes. So yeah, this looks like a lot going on. Um, but like I said, I'm going to work on these all for the month of February. And then once I have like a couple, no, I think this is mostly everything. Once I get through this big pile, um, I'm going to allow myself to break out some of the spring summer scents. So I think that's going to keep me motivated knowing that I need to work on these first and that's what I get to have like as a reward for getting through these things. So yeah, I'm really excited. It looks daunting. Um, but I think I'll really enjoy working on these. So yeah, I just really don't want to get in the habit of keeping around like half used clams because a lot of these are almost gone. So that's kind of the moral of the story here. Let me know what you guys are working on down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.